Welcome to the next vlog. This week is very exciting. I've been looking forward to it since I heard about it. It is the Summerween Readathon hosted by Gabby and Olivia. And I love both of them. I love their YouTube videos and had a lot of fun trying to figure out what to read. Which I should also, there's prompts. So I want to say, first of all, my idea for this readathon originally was that I used to own all the Goosebumps books, like almost all of them. I was missing like maybe three. And I wanted to reread as many as I could, like try and think which ones I had read before, which ones I hadn't read before, and just kind of like read as many Goosebumps books as I possibly could because I thought that would have been really fun. Turns out we don't have them anymore. Don't know where they are. I think my dad sold them at the garage sale, one of the many garage sales he does. So I had to actually put in some effort and come up with ideas, which is not bad. But um, yeah, so I was like a little upset, I don't have my Goosebumps books anymore. But we will read other things and that's fine. I have more than I thought horror books. Like one of these I was like, I didn't even know this was like a horror book basically. So there's five prompts. I have one, two, three, six seven books. Oops. I did not mean to do that. But so two of them I have an audio. Actually technically there's eight because I would like to finish the book that I started last week which has zombies in it so I think that counts. So the one that I did start this is just the dust jacket for it. I have Dread Nation. So not Dread Nation. Oh my gosh. Dread Nation is the first one. This is the second one. This is Deathless Divide. But it is zombies and I would like to finish it this week. I have, I'm 72% of the way through it. And I do have the audiobook for that, so it is easier for me to read while I'm doing stuff. I also have the audiobook for Dracula, which I do plan on reading. This is like a weird velvety cover and like doesn't have a whole lot of writing in it, but that's okay. So I have this. Um, there's also a cute bookmark in it. That's on audio and I also have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires on audio. I don't own a physical copy, but if I like it enough, I definitely probably will because just that title alone, alone sounds like amazing and incredible to me. So those are the audiobooks that I have. Everything else is pretty much reading, um, but I'll go through the prompts. So the first prompt is to read a book with a creepy cover. For this one, I guess I can choose this one because this one freaks me out. It is a floating girl on the cover, but it's The Haunting of Sunshiny Girl. Sunshine Girl. I don't know why I say sunshiny every time I think about this. Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. Um, this is like from a trilogy and this is the first book. I don't know where the other ones are, but I've had this literally forever and I've never read it, so I was very excited to pick this one up. The second book is Read a Paranormal Slash Supernatural Book. For this one, I have chosen Carrie by Stephen King. I bought this one at like Value Village, and somebody actually like has little sticky notes with their own little thoughts and stuff in it, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna leave those in so that I can compare notes with whoever re wrote, read this before I did. So very excited about that one. And then I have read a book with a haunted house. I think this one is a haunted house. Sunshine Girl. That one, yes, this one, I did read this one. It has a haunted house. So I also could say a creepy cover then we'll say is The Merciless by Daniel Vega. So this one is pretty creepy. It's pink, which is very deceiving. That's why it's creepy. Read a book in the dark. This is the one I'm most excited for and I will be reading ASAP. <laughs> like really really excited and it is Haunted Canada. Um, the first terrifying collection by Pat Hancock. Very excited because this is like a bunch of little short stories. I think that if I read like at nighttime, read like two or three stories a night because I don't know how many stories are in here but they're all like different stories and the fact that it's Canada and I'm very excited. I like can't wait till I run into something that I know or that I've been there and I'm like heck yeah. <laughs> excited. <laughs> that is my top priority. Also got it 40% off at Walmart. The last prompt is to read a book recommended by the hosts and I went through Gabby has so so many like thriller recommendations and this was like at the end of her thing I, there was two that because when I watched her thriller recommendations I was like I need to have a book that I already own because I need to own some. I need to read something I already own because I have too many books that I own that I have not read, obviously. And so I was like, something that I own 
please like give me something that i own so i watched like the first three ones that she had thriller recommendations and this one finally popped up and i was like done this is it i didn't realize this one was like horror or thriller or whatever but it is the female of the species by mindy mcginnis this i literally had no idea what it was about but we're gonna we're gonna try it the first line on the back i should have guessed is alex craft knows how to kill someone and the way she explained it in her video, I was like, okay, that sounds that sounds interesting. I can get down with that. So those are the books that I'm going to read. However, today we are going to... I have to edit last week's vlog. I've already edited the video for Saturday. Um, I don't know when I'm going to edit the Saturday after this video goes up, but that's fine. I'll figure it out. Um, and I also would like to introduce you to some of my Halloween decorations. Mostly, I just think that you guys should see this because it's fantastic. I got it from Michael's last Halloween. That's why I was disappointed by their Halloween collection this year because last year they had so many good things. And actually, we're going to Home Sense to look for Halloween stuff on Wednesday. So that will happen. I'm very excited about that. But this is my book reading skeleton. He is fantastic. I leave him up all year round. He is like the only thing I keep on my bookshelves all the time because they're always so stacked with books. But this dude, he stays. Psychic runes, that's what it says on his little book that he's reading. But he is my favorite thing ever. I wanted to like do some like spooky things, but I cannot literally think of anything. Maybe anybody who's daily vlogging will help me out with that because I'll get ideas as I see people's daily vlogs. But for now, I'm just going to be reading. I don't know if I should try to do the self-care thing again. I kind of gave up like halfway through the week last week because I was doing arts and crafts. Maybe we'll do more arts and crafts this week and we'll do some spooky ones. I will be showing you because I'm going to be working on my book of shadows a lot and all my information stuff. I will show you pages from that because I think wishy stuff could be, we could do wishy stuff. Why not? Let's, let's do that. Sounds like a great idea to me. Onward. But I am going to finish Deathless Divide and then I will get started either on Dracula or Haunted Canada because these are my top priorities right now. Good luck everybody. If you don't watch the end of the video, please tell me your favorite spooky books because I will be reading spooky from here on out if I can help it. We're reading in the dark. I haven't read anything yet today. This is, I just started. I'm reading Haunted Canada because this is the one I want to read in the dark because I think it would be the creepiest and I'm right. I'm on page 20 and I'm already on the second story from the province that I live in and both of them are really close. The second one, or the first one that I read that comes from actually my city is a house that is now a restaurant, like it's a restaurant now, but it was a house and it like just kind of gives you stuff that happens in there and where it is located and stuff and like reports from people who work there and pe like actual guests that have been there. What is that noise? It's getting creepy outside apparently. But I have walked past this restaurant on many occasions and it has always creeped me out. It's like one of those places that you walk by and you're like, hmm, do that double take, you know? So the fact that it's in this book that was, this was published in 2003. I was like, okay, that that's that's cool. All right, Um. so now we gotta go eat there for sure. I thought it was always like some really expensive restaurant. I actually like Googled it. It's not that expensive, but it is kind of fancy, but it's also haunted, so I don't think it really matters. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little, like, uneasy now because I'm, like, I walk past there a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Not that I don't live anywhere near it, but, like, the fact that I go to that area of the city a lot is just, yeah. And now we're on to the haunted hotel, which I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm back because I started reading the hotel one and I have stayed here within, like, the last two years. I think it's the last two years. Within at least the last three years, I have stayed in this hotel. Why am I doing this to myself? No, I wanted this. I I wanted to do this. So after my crisis of reading Haunted Canada last night, it's not that I'm freaked out that it's haunted. It's the fact that nobody told me because it's literally across the street from my favorite used bookstore. I'm there a lot. Anyways, I'm on page 45, so I've only read like a little bit, which is fine. I'm, this was gonna be my slow read for the week. But this morning, I took out my audiobook to see which one I was going to listen to, and I was like, oh, I'll listen to Dracula, and it's really, like, a short version. Like, a very short version. The audiobook's not even two hours long. Whereas, this thing, obviously, is longer than two hours. 
this thing I went onto script and found it and it's actually over 15 hours and I've started listening to it this morning I am almost at chapter two I think it might be chapter three chapter one is very long and also it just could be like a different version of Dracula because apparently there's a million versions up there because I can't figure out which one is the one I need to read or listen to but that's okay um so that's the plan today I don't know what else I'm gonna do today I'm very tired I'm trying to reset my schedule for school my sleep schedule and waking up at 8 30 is this week's goal next week Will probably be 7 30 to 8 will be my wake up goal and then the week after that i gotta start waking up at 7 so at least 7 because i have class at 8. i mean it's not like i have to do anything i just really have to get dressed and have a coffee and then go to class but my classes are three hours long so i can make sure i have snacks and everything so i think an hour will be good enough for that i might read outside today it's very nice i don't know what's happening anymore we're just here <laughs> This is like the weirdest updates possible, but I've been like, so I watched yesterday, I watched Bailey Sarian, Sarian, that's how you say her last name. Um, she does her makeup and talks about like true crime and it's fantastic. So I was watching her yesterday and then today I was like, let's sit outside and read and I picked this Haunting of Sunshine Girl and I started reading it and then the little blurb i'm gonna read it out to you because it's super weird like the dedication thing confused me i had to do some research so the dedication says this book is dedicated to sunshiners everywhere whether you've been here since the beginning or you're new to the club this and every sunshine book is for you so i was like um what does this mean so i went and looked up her goodreads um which is Paige mckenzie's goodreads and then it had like she has a youtube channel that's really famous and i was like okay don't know what that means but i looked up and i've done like a bunch of research and apparently she did this sunshine girl research so i'll show you <laughs> i'm showing you like the creepiest thing on here but so she had a youtube series back in 2010 this is december of 2010 this video uh is called meeting creepy lady and it's the one that freaked me out the most i literally saved it because i thought it was so terrifying i don't know if she did this because she was making a youtube show or if this is just actual documentation of stuff that actually happened to her but it is the author's youtube channel and there's a bunch of creepy stuff on here and i'm watching through season one of the sunshine girl network as what it's called so i'll flip you around this is like the youtube channel i'll link it in the description if i remember this is the video that i'm talking about so like in this video she's like some lady has been standing outside of my house for like this time because they like moved into this new house and it was haunted which is basically the premise of the book but there's more to the book but anyway so this is like whatever it is but like okay i'm gonna scroll up because she pans around and this video is only 44 seconds long and there's this lady just standing outside of her house i'm not gonna play it just in case like it's copyrighted or something but like I don't want to get in trouble, but I just was like, I was watching this going, what the fuck you mean? And I can see on the side that there is another video that says Creepy Lady Speaks, um, nine years ago from the same channel, and I, I am probably gonna watch it right now because I'm like, what is going on? I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know if this is like, like, I, I want to know if, like, she did this on purpose or, like, if this actually happened. You know, do, does that make sense? Like, I want to know if this was just a show that she made in 2010 when she was a teenager or like, did it actually happen? I like, I've been reading comments and nobody tells me anything. Like, I wanna know if this actually happened to her and this was her inspiration for the book. I don't know. Please tell me. Anyways, I just, that's my question. If anybody has an answer for me, I would greatly appreciate it because I've been reading shit on all day online and watching more videos and I need to know. I'm gonna keep watching, let's be real. I just need to tell you all the spooky things. So, <laughs> it's been like a couple minutes. <laughs> And I'm on the Haunting of Sunshine Girl about my research into the ghost in this house, which was posted January 2nd, 2011. And in this video, as an update, um, at the 30 second mark, she's in her room, at the 30 second mark, there is 
like comments and I read the comments before I watched it but you totally can hear somebody saying hey you in there and they say it at the 30 second mark and then they say it again in like another five seconds and it's really creepy and I I'm just gonna keep watching until I find out if it's real or not this is like I'm just having a crisis okay, I have my answer it's not real but that's fine that's fine I'm still gonna watch it um, because there are 14 seasons yep I'm still gonna watch it. It's still like really creepy. The fact that it was filmed in 2010 on like the crappiest camera ever makes it feel so creepy. It's not even funny. So we're still gonna watch it. And then eventually I'll read the book. I'm on chapter two. <laughs> so today is, I don't know what day it is, Thursday. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, I'm like, today is Thursday before this and I have to remember that before I start my video and I obviously forgot. I've been watching a bunch of Nukes top five videos, also really spooky. And I have been just basically watching a bunch of YouTube videos. However, yesterday I did go shopping, but I'll show you that in a second. Because I've also been playing a lot of Planet Zoo. Like, way too much Planet Zoo. But I also got the fuzziest... This is a blanket, but I also got the fuzziest pillows from um, HomeSense. And I love them so much. So I'm going to change some things in my room because... I have too many things in here so we're gonna move some stuff around and that's today's plan I really really I think that most of the books that I'm gonna finish this week I want to finish Deathless Divide for sure because I'm like almost done I've got like not even 25% less than 25% left and I really really want to read Haunted Canada those are like the top two that I'm like okay let's read these kind of thing other than that like I'm not really reading at all, which is fine. I didn't expect myself to. I could feel myself going into like, a, I'm not gonna call it a reading slump because it's not like I don't want to read. I'm just in the mood to do other things. So it's like a reading break, really. I'm in the mood to do witchy things. I'm in the mood to do writing. I have, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but I started rewriting one of the stories that I finished in, I finished it in 2013. So I was between grade 11 and grade 12. Um, when I wrote it and I can tell because it's on Wattpad and I read it on Sunday I think yeah I read it on Sunday and I uh, was like you know this could be better like I could do way better than this and then I wrote down all these ideas of how I could do better and I am fully executing them I think I've written three chapters so it's about I want to say 4,000 to 5,000 words that I've written in the last two to three days. Not upset about that. I will probably write more in the coming days. Like, this is where I'm going. Um, as school comes to start, I will be more motivated to write and less motivated to read. And that's just, that's just how my yearly cycle goes. <laughs> Which is fine because it helps me prepare for NaNoWriMo. So, I'm not upset at all. Like, I know it's gonna happen. I'm ex fully accepting that this is where my life is going. But also, I do not appreciate that all this horror movie watching and horror reading has brought me to the realm of having terrible, terrible dreams. To the point where I have also, so I don't know, let's talk about dreams for a second. I have like a little dream dictionary thing that I can look up what my dreams mean. Um, I have not looked at it yet, which I, I, I am too afraid to right now, but I, the dreams that I've been having, I like when they get too terrible or too to the point where I'm like, no, this isn't the thing that's actually happening. I have become aware that I'm dreaming, like I know that this isn't what's supposed to be happening. I don't know if it's like I know that I'm dreaming or like I know but I like know that this is not actually happening and I'm making this up in my head and I'm probably not awake like some point and to the point where I can kind of wake myself up a little bit and like not necessarily take control but switch it from like terrible to like kind of bearable <laughs> and I don't know if I'm doing that like on purpose like I don't feel myself being like no we're changing this right now it's like I can't deal with how terrifying this is so I'm gonna go do this instead kind of thing so that's really fun that's that's what's been happening the last two nights because I I've been watching so many horrifying YouTube videos that have just freaking me out and TikTok has also decided that I deserve all of the creepy videos so that's that's what's happening but today I'm gonna just read some more of Deathless Divide. Like I literally have a small fraction left and then I'm gonna probably play Planet Zoo. After I clean my room, I need to fix this first and then we will do that. Sounds like a good plan, but 
I'm enjoying the fuzzy things, so leaving my bed is very hard today because this, these are like the softest things I've ever felt in my life. Like this doesn't look like it's very soft, but it's softer than the green one that I had. And these are like, like heaven. Like I can't even, I don't, I don't know how to tell you that like everybody just needs this pillow. Anyways, that's all that I have. Moving on. This looks really creepy, but it is very cloudy and so it looks like the sun has already set even though it's only seven o'clock at night but today's saturday i uh don't remember what i was updating last i do plan tomorrow night to show you guys my uh what i've been working on but i can't i'm not doing it right now because i like really need to take it like a bath or something and just relax because my muscles really hurt but i had really productive reading day i haven't finished anything since i finished on the come up like I've just been gradually reading and oh but I have read up to almost page 100 I'm on page 90 of Haunted Canada and I've come to the realization that I've read this before and you're probably like oh why didn't you realize that before because I haven't read it since I must have been like fourth or fifth grade like a very very long time ago and I have like a vivid memory of asking my parents at Canadian Tire to buy me I think it was this book, which you can't get more like weirdly Canadian than that. Like, buying Haunted Canada at Canadian Tire just seems like a weird like concept, and it really is. It, it like really, really is. But I remember that we bought a book, and I thought it was Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, but I do remember that it was Canadian. And I'm, I don't know what Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is, and I watched the movie, and I was like, this none of this seems like it would have been familiar. And I started reading this book. And some of the stories are very, very familiar. Not to mention, I think that this is the book that is the reason why I don't like Ouija boards. Because I looked up a, like a head just to see if there's any other ones up there that I would remember, like the titles and the pictures from. And there's a Ouija board one. And then right after the Ouija board one is a school in the city near where I grew up, because I grew up in a small town. There's a school about the city that was really close to us. And I was like, okay, this is, seems very familiar. So I probably definitely read this, but I will continue to read it because I am still loving it. But today, since I worked today, I finished the last 150 pages of Deathless Divide by Justina Ireland, and this was five stars. I loved it. It didn't end on like a huge bang, but it ended beautifully and perfectly, and I loved it. And then I read the entirety of The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. This was a wild ride. If you have read this book, please come talk to me about it because I cannot comprehend what I read. It's gonna take me a couple days to get over what this was. It's like kind of a thriller, kind of a horror, but also not really at the same time. Basically, it surrounds this girl, Alex, who, it also has three different point of views, which is very nice, but it surrounds Alex who, uh, her sister died when she was in freshman year um, and the guy who was suspected to be the murderer of her sister was let go because they had literally no evidence toward anybody in the entire case and so Alex takes matters into her own hand and she becomes very strong and very like I want to say powerful but not really she just kind of like puts her emotions for her grief into something that could help people and she helps herself and she helps some other people the things she does in this book are wild like she finally makes a friend and finds a boyfriend and like it's getting her life together but also she's ruining it at the same time and the way she does it it's just like she's so smart but man does she let her emotions emotions rule everything like oh anyways this was like it's gonna take me a while to get into but I did really really like it um, tomorrow I plan on listening to Dracula that will be nice I realized that the copy I had on Libby was not a full copy it was like a severely severely abbreviated version like the one I had on Libby was not even two hours long and I went on to Scribd and looked at it and it's over 15 hours long so I was like there's something wrong here so I'm gonna listen to the Scribd one instead which is fine. It was just very strange for me. So I'm very pleased that I could finish some books this week because as soon as Summerween's over I'm going to force myself to stop reading and 
let myself be put into like a slight reading slump even though today was very successful so that I can catch up and fix all of the like read everything I have on my current reads because I have way too many things on my current reads so I'm, I'm okay with that but we will continue on with the summerween this is very creepy lighting set the mood but I really need to go take a nice relaxing bath so I'll see you tomorrow I promised to show you like um what I've been working on. So this is back to my divination book. I've shown you guys this one before. Um, my index, I have added my palm tree. I did the mounts, the lifeline, the headline, the heartline, and the fate line, which is the order that I put them in here. I haven't finished it quite yet, but I did add some tape to my little picture. It's like cute washi tape. I never thought I would like washi tape, but here we are. And last time I showed you, I had only put in mercury and I hadn't colored that in yet. Um, I did a not a great job of coloring it in, but that's okay. And then I did Apollo, and then there's all those other ones. These are all the mounts, all color-coded, and then my merged mounts, what it means. And then I put in my handprints. These are mine. I added my lines where they are, and then this cute tape. And then I put this tape back on this one, and then I did the lifeline, and then the headline, and I'm on the heart line now, so it's looking pretty good. And then the other one I wanted to show you guys was this pink one, and this one is like my general information. Some of this I would not show you because it's personal, but some of it I will show you. So far, we're like good so far. Um, so the wheel of the year, and I color coded it. My original one is not this good. I like this one a lot more. Um, and then I did, I'm doing each holiday individually, and I'm very, very excited. But that's what I have so far, and that's pretty much mostly what you're gonna see. Fun hair is back for like an hour. Hello and welcome to the end of the vlog. I don't know why I said it like that, but here we are. Um, today's Sunday. I worked again today, and I finished The Haunting of a Sunshine Girl. Of Sunshine Girl, sorry. I gave this one three stars. It was pretty good. I'm pretty sure Paige McKenzie is the model on the front of the book because I have seen pictures of her, and she looks a lot like that. If not then they picked a pretty similar looking chick for the front. The spooky summer week has come to a close, pretty much. It's only 6.30, basically, um, and I could still read. If I do read, though, I don't know if I'll read Dracula or not. I would like to, but we'll see. But I'm gonna end the vlog right now because I'm very tired and I just wanna lay in bed and eat food. So I'm gonna do that. But you all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow anyways because I'm gonna start the new vlog tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what your favorite spooky read is. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you like them. If you have something similar, let me know. If you have something like the female of the species, I would love it because that was great. Other than that, have a great week and I will see you all very soon. Bye!